In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the integration for an Airtable automation script to fully automate your document creation. So you need to set up your template and have your variables in place. Your variables can be taken from uh, your Airtable setup here and need to be uh, named accordingly uh, in order to map correctly. But once you're set up with your template, you're ready to go. So in your Airtable setup here, you must, of course, remember to include an attachment section uh, so that you can save your document back down to each record. So this is a very simple document. We're just going to merge some simple fields here, um, but we're going to automate the whole process so we don't need Zapier. Uh, or any other uh, third-party tools. So once we're happy with our template, we're just going to click on Integrations. We're going to go to our table, and we're going to use the automation script. So Document will create the automation script for us. Uh, and there are a few small adjustments that we can make, um, but it will give us everything we need to just copy and paste. So first of all, we're going to need the URL for our Airtable. So that is very simple. In the Airtable base that you want to use, uh, we're just going to highlight the full URL, copy that, paste it into this section here, uh, and document will grab the information it needs from the URL. Then we need to give it one or two other pieces of information. We need to tell it the uh, attachment field name. And this should be exactly verbatim case sensitive. So the easiest way to do that is just to open up your field and copy exactly. And then paste that in. We know it's correct. We have an option here to overwrite attachments, which basically will mean that uh, when you generate documents from the same record in the future, um, that you won't get multiple attachments of different versions. You will just renew the existing record attachment. Um, so version 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, you'll only ever see version 5, for example. If you uh, leave that unchecked, then you will have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in individual files. Uh, linked records, uh, this um, will allow you to drill down further into your information through a linked record table. Um, similar to what happens within the generation link. If you need to expand link records, you can indicate to document how deep you want to go down the uh, linked records tree. Uh, you can go up to five levels deep. Okay, In this case, we're not going to do that. Uh, mode here is around what kind of mode your, your template is in, um, whether it's in preview or active. But please note that um, if we choose active mode, uh, which will use some of your uh, quota of um, documents to be minted or generated, um, and it will override, even if your, your template is set to preview or to nothing, this will activate it for this run and we'll turn it off again afterwards. So uh, you can choose to use that as you'd like to. We're just going to leave it blank for now. And then finally, um, we can watch or ignore certain changes. Um, so here, for example, we might uh, not want to generate a new document every time something changes. So um, uh, we would add in here the field that we want to either watch or ignore. So let's say, for example, we only want to create or change a document when this field changes. So we add in the name of the field, case sensitive, and press enter, and it will create that for us. So we could either watch that for when it changes and use that, or we could ignore it. Say, if this date changes, don't worry about it, but uh, everything else can change and we will generate a new document. Right. In this particular case, we're just going to have none. OK, so once you've made uh, your options choices, we then 
Simply copy the script. Everything we need is here. Document generates the whole thing for you. We copy the script to the clipboard. We go over to our Airtable. We go to Automations. We create a custom automation. Um, we add a trigger. And we're going to say, for this one, we can use any trigger we like. Uh, we'll work the same, anything that can trigger the script. But we're going to say, when a record matches condition, um, we're going to choose our table, table two. And we're going to say, when create document is checked. And I may need to just check one box here. So it picks this up. Yeah, great. Okay. I'll uncheck that. And then we're going to run the action. So we want the script. We can delete this. And we want to paste in this space. Uh, let's copy that one more time. Everything that document gives us. There we are. The whole lot. Okay. Uh, and then we need to add one more thing. We need to add an input variable. So it must be the same as this record name here. Record ID. We can copy that and ensure the naming convention is the same. And we're going to choose the Airtable record ID. So basically what this means is that um, this will always look for the record ID that triggered this automation and will save then back the uh, attachment to the correct record ID. All right, and then we're done. So we finish that. We can turn that on. We go back to our base and we just fill this in super quick. And when we check the button, we'll see what happens. So we'll call this my event name is Matt. The date of the event will be today, and the location will be London. Okay. So we're going to check this box to tell it we're ready, and keep an eye on this here. So that light up green, and there's a file in there. Let's have a look at it. There. So if we look side by side, here is our template, and here is our output, all using the document script to fully automate that process. Okay, if you have any questions, of course, please let us know. But I hope that was helpful, and take care for now.